Hello and welcome back. So last time, this is where we left off. In this one, we want to do some uh, basic polishing for our UI. All right, so we're going to, you know, add the stuff that's missing and that will be it for our sign-in screen. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is uh, add the same padding here to our password field here, change it to password, as well as mask the characters. And then, uh, I think I'm going to go back to this one and uh, make these make these look like this. Okay, so just gonna close that out, and then uh, basically just gonna take this padding, put it in here, change this to password, and then obviously change this to password is equal to true. So setting it, setting a text fields password field to true will mask out the characters so you cannot see them okay and with that we should have uh, that first one done now the next thing I want to do is uh, let's see let's go back to yeah let's let's definitely go back to this one all right and uh, what we're going to do is uh, let me just close this and open that we're basically going to do the same thing we did with this one all right so instead of this being a box layout it's now going to be an anchor right and then we are going to anchor it to the top all right and this is going to ensure that our label uh like we basically start writing from the very top of our container going downwards all right and i'm also going to size hint y this to none so that the sizing is not controlled by Kiwi, is not controlled by the label, like the label size, but it's controlled by the content of that label as far as our vertical sizing is concerned. All right. And with that done, um, actually, let's also remove this as well, just like we removed it on the other one. Okay. Now let's run this and let's see what we have okay lovely so this is what we got so I would say it's looking pretty good okay so everything is uh, pretty great uh, what I want to do is uh, let's see I am tempted to alright uh, so by the way let's not come back to this let's just go to there now you'll see that uh, the password is masked now alright that is looking good what I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor this uh, thing, this icon to the bottom. Let's see if that helps. All right, so, oh, it's actually anchored to the bottom already. And it's, uh, looks like that's as far as we can go, as far as uh, Kiwi goes. All right, so let's open this up again. And uh, I just want to do a comparison here with my other screen. All right, so interview details to sign in. That's looking all right. That's looking all right. Don't have an account. All right, so with that, I believe our screen, like everything is done here. All right, so sign in. All right, so the other thing actually I just thought of is uh, you see when you type and you hit enter, it actually goes to the next line. All right, so I want to disable that. All right, so this is going to be a one line input only. So that is actually easy in Kiwi. We can go to this, all right, our field here, and let's disable multi-line. So multi-line is going to be equal to false. All right, let's do that as well for the password. So now, if we run this, right i'm gonna pull it in again and i do sam and hit enter it doesn't go to the next field it just uh sort of uh defocuses all right or unfocus or whatever it's called all right so what i'm going to do next is i want it such that uh let me pull this up again when i do like a user you know zero one and hit oh it's actually enabled by default so you can hit 
tab to go to the next field if you hit tab again it will go back to this one right so you can cycle through these to sign in faster so i can do that and then hit enter or i can now click sign in to sign in okay so what we're going to do now is we want to be able to go to our home screen when we click this rounded button all right so for now right since we don't have uh any back end we're going to do like a a simple navigator here so we're going to do define authenticate like that with self right and this authenticate is just going to navigate us to our home screen okay so what we're going to do is simply do app dot get running app right app is from kiwi.app as you can see and get running app is basically going to get the currently running app in theory in kiwi you can have many apps running at the same time right so this function basically just get the currently running app in this case this is always going to be the app that we're running obviously right and then we're going to get the root of our app right so basically the root widget in our app right so in this case we are now literally right here we're now in main window so in main window we want to get our screen manager so it has an id of screen manager right so let's go back since we, we are now in main window we want to get the ids and what id do we want to get well we want to get our screen manager and in our screen manager we have this current property which holds the currently active screen so whichever screen we are looking at so currently if we are in the auth if we are in the auth uh, screen current here has uh, our screen here the screen auth which has our auth widget so what we want to do now is we want to change to our home screen all right so we are going to set this current equal to our home screen that's it so this is basically saying in our app get the currently running app and get the root widget our main box which is main window and then in our main window get an id called screen manager so get the widget with the id of screen manager and then set its current property to our home screen okay so now let's copy this let's go back to auth.kv and here let's do on release so basically when this button is pressed and released what do we want to do we want to do root so root here is not the main window okay this is important root is the root widget where this button is so in this case root is actually auth all right so basically root is always going to be uh, whatever the whatever the widget with the angle brackets is okay in that widget so we're going we're taking root and in our root we want to call this function called authenticate just like that all right and now if we run our app and we simply click sign in we now go to our home screen all right now i, I don't really like it going like uh the slide animation you can keep the slide animation if you want i just don't like it all right so i rarely ever use it so i'm going to just change it uh real quick all right so i'm going to import the fade transition all right from screen manager uh screen manager dot fade transition all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my transition here to that fade transition all right so now it's not going to slide it's just going to basically fade to the home screen all right like that okay that's it and with that i believe we are done with this part of the tutorial in the next one we are going to start working with our pos screen so if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this part of the tutorial 
leave me a message in the comment section otherwise as always thanks for watching thanks for the love and the subscriptions i will see you in the next one